do Facebook custom audiences auto update or do you have to do that automatically? In today's video, I'm gonna answer that question and show you some of the best custom audiences you should be setting up to increase your marketing results. Take a look. Hey everyone, Kevin Small with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. If you are brand new to our channel, we appreciate you being here. What we're all about is helping real estate agents just like you generate more leads, set more appointments, and close more transactions, especially using social media. So if you want more tips and strategies, just like you're gonna see today, this is the place to be. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here as part of our community. Uh, before we get going on today's video, just one quick note. Down in the description below, you're gonna see a link to our master class. It's a two-hour class, jam-packed of information, showing you exactly what it, our best practices are for generating leads, setting appointments, and doing business. So make sure you go check that out. You'll find a lot of valuable information there. Like I said, in today's video, what we're gonna be covering is Facebook custom audiences. Now, custom audiences on Facebook, um, I'll go ahead and share my screen. It's part of the business manager account. So if you're looking around your business page for this screen, you won't find it. It's not part of your business page. It's part of your business manager account. You have to set one of those up. Um, I'll put a link right here on how to go set one up if you don't know how, but you're basically just gonna go to business.facebook.com. There's some things you have to do. Again, you can watch the tutorial and see how to do it. Now, the other part of this tutorial, it assumes that you already know how to set up custom audiences. If you don't know how to set up custom audiences, then again, I'll put a link right up here. Go watch the tutorial. It's a, it'll show you how to set up all the different ones that we use. So with custom audiences, some of them will auto update and other ones you have to do manually. So I wanted to just go through some of these real quick and show you. So when you go to create a custom audience, this is the screen that you're gonna see. And you can see that all of these different ways, or all of these different methods are ways that you can track people and set up different groups. So the whole thought process is, and, and the whole magic behind custom audiences, is that you're able to set up groups of people based on certain actions that they've taken or certain ways that they've engaged with you um, to be able to keep in front of them as you're running ads. So um, you'll notice um, the ones that, especially for you real estate agents out there, the ones that you'll find most valuable is your website. So being able to target people who've been to your website um, customer list, when we upload a list and run ads to them, this is super valuable for uploading your sphere of influence, your past clients. Um, if there's like a farm list, a neighborhood that you want to market to, there's lots of different uses for it. Um, tracking people who have watched videos, if you're doing video marketing. Um, tracking people that have been on your Instagram account, also very valuable. Same concept with your Facebook page. Tracking people that have engaged there. Um, lead forms is probably the other one that you would use a lot. So if you're doing a lead generation ad and people are filling out the contact form, um, that's what that audience is for. So I had somebody ask me a question recently, do these auto update, right? And the answer is it depends on which one we're talking about. So some of them are what we would call a dynamic custom audience, meaning it just auto updates all the time. Other ones you do have to manually update. So let's go through some of these. Any of the ones that are based on engagement, so um, like your Facebook page, your Instagram account, those will automatically update as people are engaging. So like you'll notice with this, with the Facebook page, it'll default to anyone who's engaged with your page in the last 365 days. So if somebody clicks or comments or likes or shares, um, and it also tracks um, messages if they've sent you a direct message um, that you'll be able to track uh, people that have done that. So that is what we typically will set up is these custom audiences to be able to group these people together. Now, with that being said, <clears throat> um, this audience will, like I said, it'll auto update. So the moment somebody clicks or likes or comments or shares, it'll automatically pull that person into this group. Now, if they had previously clicked and liked and comment and shared, obviously there's already gonna be a part of it, but the countdown starts over. So anytime they've done that in the last 365 days, completely automatic. So that'll be the same 
for um, your page engagement on Instagram as well as Facebook. Um, with video, this is one that you have to manually update. So I'll use the one here as an example. So I've got a custom audience tracking anybody who's watched videos in the last uh, 365 days that have watched at least 25% of the video. Now, if anybody selects, you know, I've got the videos here selected that I want to track, right? And I've got all these selected. So if anyone watches 25% of any of these videos, Facebook automatically pulls them into this group. Now, if they watch one of these videos that I've already got checked, then I don't have to do anything. Facebook's doing all of that automatically behind the scenes. But what I do have to manually update with the videos is if I publish a new video to the page, I need to come into this audience and check the box to tell Facebook I wanna monitor that video as well. So that's the one thing you have to update if you publish a video to your page is you need to come in here and update the Facebook audience um, for the video views. So this one you do have to do manually anytime you're putting in a new, um, anytime you're doing a new uh, video. The one for web page, this one will update automatically. So anytime somebody has been to your website, um, if you've got it set up for tracking um, anybody who's been to, I don't have a pixel set up on this one, but if, uh, if you've got it set up to where it's tracking anybody who's been to that whole website, no matter what page it is they're looking at, then you'll be able to track those people and it lets you track them for 180 days. Um, that's the maximum time period. So that one happens automatically. And again, if they were already part of that group and then they go back to your website, that timer resets. So they're back on day number one instead of day 50 or wherever they were at in the process. Um, lead form. So if you're doing a lead generation ad where somebody is filling out the um, uh, filling out a lead form, this one also you have to manually update. So the way that it's set up with the lead form is you can have it set up to track certain, certain forms, right? So when you create a new ad and you've got a new lead form, then you have to come in here and say, I want you to track the lead form. Um, the lead form opens on this one as well. So anytime you have a new lead form, you have to come in and update this audience. And again, it's tracking it for uh, 90 days. Now, um, with that being said, uh, that's that one. Um, customer list, obviously that one's gonna stay the same until you make changes to the list. So with, uh, this is a list that uh, we've uploaded. Um, when I click on edit, I have the option to either remove people or to add people to the list. So again, this one is totally manual um, with lists if you're gonna be um, uploading customer lists. And those are really the major ones that you real estate agents out there are probably going to use. So website, it happens automatically once the pixel is installed. Customer list, manual. Um, you have to manually make changes if you want to make changes to the list. Video, it happens automatically once you select the videos that you want to track. So if you publish a new video, you just have to add it to the list. Lead form, if you publish a new lead form, you have to add that to the list. Uh, Instagram account and your Facebook page, the engagement on either, that's happening automatically, nothing that you need to do there. So I just wanted to give you that quick tutorial. Um, like I said, I had somebody ask me, how do I know when I need to update my custom audiences and when I don't? So hopefully that video will give you some, some useful tips. What's powerful about setting up these custom audiences as a whole is that now, once you've got those set up, it allows you to run ads and keep in front of these same groups of people. And so the thought process at a very high level is if these are the people that are engaging with you, they're filling out lead forms, going to your website, watching videos, whatever the action is, if they're doing those things, those are the people who are likely going to be the most interested. And so we want to make sure that we stay in front of them. So that is the whole strategy and philosophy behind custom audiences. It just gives us a way to track the people who are probably the most interested and therefore your best prospects. So if that video was helpful, take that split second, give us a, a like down below, click that thumbs up button. That helps us tremendously and we appreciate your support. 
Also, if you haven't considered subscribing to our channel, <laughs> please do. Uh, when you click the subscribe button and that little bell notification, you'll be notified every time we put out brand new content and we put out brand new content just like this every single week. I'm also gonna put up a couple of videos right here that you can watch to learn more tips and strategies to grow your business. Also, if you're curious about our services and the things that we do to help agents grow their business, I'll put a link down in the description below to go to our website and you can learn more about that there. Other than that, make it a great week. Keep crushing it with your real estate business. If we can help, please let us know. Leave a comment. We'd love to help you out. Otherwise, make it a great week and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.